Welcome back, everyone. Part five of it's our entirely episode two. Ridiculous. We'll if play as flowers, Mira Forrester. Or the table settings. S Lady Marjorie. To the orphanage. Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. I hope to visit you soon. You're in our thoughts. We'll make a large donation. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. Yeah, that sounds like a lovely good. sentiment, Mira. Sounds good. Mira's a nice lady, nice young woman. And the seal. Here you are. Sweet. Oh. Are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One, more. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. <laughs> Somebody's knocking at the door. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. That's the little slave boy. Little rat man, whatever what his name is, it, is. It's from my mother. A letter she asked that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenn will remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, <laughs> it's my help she's after, isn't it? She always wants she's her. She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. I guess. I don't know. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. Marjorie doesn't play you like that. before and you saw the results. Right. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I think so. I think so. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. Sure. Notice how she took the... the... seal with her, so we can... forge one, I guess. I imagine. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, forge one. Dear Lady Elena. No, dearest Lady Elena. Whoops. She took the seal with her. Yeah, I told you. Hopefully a signature will do. Oh, I... F <laughs> Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Elena of House Glenmore. I've never heard of the Glenmores. I know you're very busy with uh -oh. Lady Marjorie and, <laughs> and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. What about? What about? Oh, I shouldn't have talked with her. Well. I should have told her she's a bitch. We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with them? I've got them. Mira's bold. She doesn't care. Oh. So we're back up at the wall here, I guess. Bloody cold today, isn't it? Isn't it? It's a little cold. Snowing. 
I'll say it'll be a short order. <sighs> oh, Buckhead. Uh oh. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. Mm. Fuck off. I'm not moving. Wrong fucking answer. Uh oh. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago. No. To defend and the I don't care. You should. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. Oops. He tried to stick me <laughs> with this. I stuck it in him instead. So next time I say move, you best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diet <laughs> trauma are you here for? <laughs> fucking potatoes. Potatoes? You fuck potatoes? <laughs> no! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares. No, he... <laughs> Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Hey, don't fucking talk about my sister, all right? Well, I got sent here for... Who in seven hells is talking back there? Uh-oh. Wasn't me. Not me. Blame it on Finn? Tuttle. Who was it? Hmm. Um, Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. Yes, so we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Yeah, I those can do all do well three of those. Might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. Oh. Uh oh. Need a word. Look who it is, everyone. Go on, get started. Look who it is. It's John Snow. Best of luck, <laughs> Tuttle. Here we go. I have to go fight and shoot and carry stuff, I guess. I don't know. Do I pick one? What do I pick? I don't know. Look up at Castle Black, sure. Castle Black. So this is home now. Alright, let me go. Pet the horse, obviously. This is my combat skill. I'm a horse whisperer. What will I start at? Practice dummies? Sword rack. Let me get the sword. Take that! Take that! Oh, horse. You, bloody top. you! Grab a practice sword. I said it's the chest, not the bloody wall. I don't know what it matters. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Hmm, all right, spar with this guy. These blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. All right, buddy, you're gonna need luck. Come on, keep at it. Okay. Oh, 
hit the wrong button. You're dead. Get off me, you bloody ox. Like oh. old Frosty said, not everyone's cut out for this. Whoops, can I practice that one again? Or did I fuck up and that's it? I think that's it. That's the game. You're doing that all wrong. Well, we don't have these where I. Mansurator will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Mm. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Oh. You can follow orders at least. That's Next good. Bolt, left target, head. Oh no, I can't get that high up. Good. Right target. Chest. Mm. Not bad. Center. Between the eyes. Oh man. Right between the eyes, huh? One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. So I'm good with the crossbow. I messed up the sword. Now I guess I have to do the strength training. Oh. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? <coughs> you take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. Mm. I said it's a chest, not a bloody wall. Fuck. Why did he steal it? I don't know why he stole that. I wouldn't have done that. Use the stairs. What's the last thing? Some strength. Lift some barrels up, I guess. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the witch. Okay. Right. I can do this. Sure. <sighs> Want some help? <laughs> Yourself, <sighs> I'm thinking stew for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing isn't frozen off. <laughs> Fuck off, Finn. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Garrett. <laughs> You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, 
I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Got it. Do something. I fucking warned you. <gasps> I won't say it again. What the fuck? You're out of your mind. Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. Didn't? And Garrett defended it. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, I... Not another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger. I need another man to top the wall. Oh, man. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Oh! Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. Caught her, remember? So I'd rather be friends with Carter, I guess. Okay, so I had to replay that last section because I exited and it didn't save. So welcome this back, way. everyone. This is Game of Thrones, episode two, I part love six. Kings Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. What did you want to talk about? Uh, this lady, I don't like her. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Queen Cersei's wine? Where did you get that? I know a boy who keeps the queen cellar well stocked. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. <laughs> Should I drink some of Queen Cersei's wine? I guess she is doing it. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. Yeah, I'm gonna refuse. I ain't about See that life. Yourself, then. Next thing I know, Marjorie so, will be here. I, uh, Find me drinking Queen's wine and. Oh. And, and I already. Got her beat up by Joffrey. Well, I just. Beat I'm up not by very everyone. good at this sort of thing. Listen. She's. She likes him. She has this. a crush. Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you. Sarah, just tell me. All right. Fine. Just please keep it a secret. Please keep it a secret. No guarantees. I'll keep it a secret. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. Became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. 
My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. How did you get this far? I, I mean... I've been very lucky, I suppose. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she mm. often confides in you, and I was hoping that... I don't know, every time I ask Marjorie for something... Sometime when she comes to you feels like to talk, it's you bad. might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. I can't make that promise, Sarah. You could if you wanted. It's not that Oops. difficult. I'm sorry, Sarah. No, I'm sorry. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. Wow, too soon. You sure you won't have any? You look like you could use a drink. Nah, no, I ain't gonna I'm gonna, hmm. ain't gonna drink. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. My uh -oh. lord. Ladies? What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Mm -mm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Sarah took the wine from the cellars. <laughs> I, uh... Threw it under the bus. <laughs> it's always the quiet ones. I suggest bringing cups next time. There are risks worth taking. Drinking wine stolen from the Queen Regent isn't one of them. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man. But judging by his up-jumped swords, You can't trust Lord Whitehill. I don't intend to. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first I guess I could go. Months. My lady. I guess I'll go with uh, Tyrion. Well, Sarah the Wino continues to drink the Queen's wine by herself. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. That much is clear. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a Forrester. That's a private matter, my lord. Foresters have nothing to offer, <laughs> my lord. If you want Ironwood, you'll have to deal with the White Hills. 
Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord You Tim. spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us... You're going to dismiss... You can't us? do this! I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. <laughs> lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. You stare him down. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion. Stare that guy you let down. Me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. So this is a nice merchant. The other guy, ah, a dick. Well, that was fun. <laughs> now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The crown's ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me stop the White House. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? Then that's a risk I'll have to take. Hmm. I don't know. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. Whatever it is, I'll do it. I just asked you for an open favor, and you agreed as if I were inviting you to tea. You're either very brave or very foolish. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. I think we can lady, make it work. 